up y'all so I'm on my way to Raleigh I had to make a quick stop um I got out of class around like two and got some food and I had to go get my car service because I'll be driving back from Raleigh <laughs> for the next two weeks I'll be going class Raleigh you know so it's a lot so um, I got my car service so I'll be um you know up to date with everything got everything um no service in my car. My car is like damn near brand new. <laughs> but I did all that and now I'm about to go pick up my package that um, was sent to my grandmother's house and then I'm about to head to Raleigh and try to get there by uh, try to get there by 6 but we started at 6 30 and it's 4 18. It takes an hour and 10 minutes to get there. But traffic yesterday was really good on Monday. Today's Tuesday. Um, so hopefully you know, I wouldn't have any trouble getting there because the first time I tried to get there, it was crazy. To traffic, trust me, it's some bullshit. Because I didn't know where I was going, didn't know what was happening, but you know, it is what it is. My town, I um, I live in a small, uh, I want to say I live in a small town, I live in a college town. So for like a bartender, it'd be really great to have like, you know, a bartender job in my town that I live in. But the kicker is, um, there's a certain type of demographic that they have as bartenders in my college town. Um, I go to the local university in my college town. Um, and there's a certain demographic that they have in this town. Um, and it's not anything dealing with like race, racism or anything like that. But it's mostly women. <laughs> there's like, and I, don't get me wrong, I get it. And women have what men want. Depending on what you want. Alright y'all, so I finally got off to my exit on exit on <laughs> Six Force Road South, exit 8B, not 8A. Um, yeah, so I'm over here just sitting because this is a busy, busy um, intersection. But yeah, I'm about to get headed to my bartender glasses. And yeah, so I'm excited. <laughs> drive home on the highway when I tell you if it ain't black out here oh my Jesus it is dark dark out here all right y'all so we're over here on the way to Raleigh I'm trying to get past the big ass truck <laughs> I hate driving past one oh my fuck Oh, bitch, me stupid. I'm retired. Make sure I don't just go. Who knows me? That was me for real. Come on, Grandma, please. Oh, that fucking tie. No luxury. That was 
That's me. Forgive me. Okay, y'all. So, <clears throat> I'm on day four of my training, which is 10 days, two weeks, not weekends, you know? Uh, my training with bartending school. I live in Greenville. I'm going to Raleigh as of right now. I stopped and got some food from this little McDonald's on the side. Um, yeah, today was just a tough day for me. Um, so I'm a graphic design student at East Carolina University. And today was just a tough day because we have to, um, we're putting out these ideas of logos and like a product name. And like my product is like something generic, like keyboard wipes. And like, it just seems like every time I put something out, it's like I always get shoot, shot down and I'm just, it's more so irritating. And I'm not saying that the professor's wrong because I don't feel like he was wrong at all. But it's just irritating because at the end of the day, I'm trying my hardest to balance everything. And like, I'm having a good time with bartender, I'm, I'm learning a lot, but it's just irritating because with my professor, I'm just like, we don't do any work in class, everything's out of class. So it's like, I'm solely have to prioritize my time. And then I'm taking off of work using the rest of my vacation hours that I have for the rest of the year. My vacation hours start over in April. So that's the rest of my vacation time, God. And it's just kind of, it's just kind of irritating because I'm trying my hardest to balance everything. And I dropped one of my classes and switched to another class. And I haven't been to that class because we didn't have class on Monday. So I'm just like, I only have that class on Mondays. So I didn't go last Monday because I wasn't in the class. And this Monday, we didn't have the class. So I'm going to go next Monday. And I know she's like, did you do your I'm like, no, because one, you didn't eat my back. <laughs> and that's that. But two inches, I'm not neither here nor that. But, yeah, um, hold on. Motor spark. It's a spark. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I'm excited for my bartending because I feel like it's going to be something that I really, it was something I wanted to do for the longest. It just, I feel like I never had the time. <laughs> and just everything just added up and just lined up for me. And I'm just like, you know, I'm going to do it. And I'm really trying to retain all this stuff. I have my bartend, bartender midterm on Friday, which I'm nervous about because I have to look, remember all of these. I have to remember all of those um, recipes, which is only uh, 15. But there's a lot of stuff that go into it. So, let's say if you want to be um, go to the Raleigh Bartending, um, I'm just talking about Raleigh's Bartending School. All the other bartending schools, I don't know how they do. They might not have a certified class. <clears throat> The class that I'm doing is um, a 40 hour certified class. So after this class, after I get my cert certification, <laughs> certification, well, after I get my certification. <laughs> certification? I put certificate and cert certification together. <laughs> but <laughs> after I get my certification in uh, like bartending training and then in tip certification, that I'll be able to, you know, bartend anywhere in the United States. So, happy about that. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's like afterwards is going to be the learning process of basically bartending. Because whatever bar you go to, they're going to teach you their way of making drinks. We're just learning the basic generic way. So, everybody makes their drinks different. That's why different bartenders' drinks taste different. One tastes really good, the other one tastes, probably tastes like shit. But um, if you go to the um, Raleigh Bartending um, School, this is the book that you will receive. And it's, you know, like my, my um, instructor, her name was Brianna, amazing woman. She's amazing. She's such so down to earth. She's cool. And then you have the, um, the other instructor, her name is Anthony. I haven't personally uh, been introduced to him, but I talked to him on the phone. He's a cool, down-to-earth guy. He seems like a stand-up guy. Every time I interact with him, it's always a good interaction. But I have never um, sat down like, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. You know? <laughs> but every time he leaves um, the establishment, he's like, okay, y'all, great night. Nice to meet y'all. Blah, blah, blah. You know? But I have never like sat down like, hey, my name is Brian. Have a conversation with him. But my struggle with Brianna, she's amazing. But, um... Let me focus on this road. First of all, it's like, 
yeah, but let me focus on this road and I will get back to you guys on another. What's up y'all? So today's Friday. It's the fifth day that I went to my bartending classes. The first week, last day of the first week, midterm day. So today we got to write down all of our ingredients for the midterm and yeah, you know, I'm really nervous, but you know, I'm confident in the, my abilities of remembering these drinks. I've been practicing these drinks for five days now. So, you know, I did go get a haircut. So, you know, try to look good. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I just, um, I really hope that, you know, everything turns out well. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, y'all, so I'm coming to y'all because this is the halfway mark of my, um, this is the halfway mark for me in my bartending school. Um, next week is like getting much harder, we have more drinks, and I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, soak everything in and get ready to like really start bartending, and like, I'm excited, because I feel I'm gonna do good. And like, I passed, passed the test for the first week, so next week I know it's gonna be good. Um, so yeah, I'm just about to just enjoy my night, go out have some fun with some friends and yeah i hope you guys um keep watching so you can see what's going to happen further in the bartending school experience that i went through um for me becoming a professional bartender and you know if you have any questions or anything like drop comments down in the comment section and yeah if you need any information or whatnot i'll put links and i'll put numbers in the bio and they have specials going on year round at the bartending school they have amazing instructors brianna and anthony and that's all I can say, like, you know, it's, it's cool, so, I will see y'all later.